Hi guys, welcome back to another FSD 12.5.1.3 video. Uh, I didn't post a video the whole last uh, week. I was just testing a few things and looking at some of your comments from my previous video as well. So there are a few things that I did notice and I acknowledge that some of you guys are also like uh, feeling the same kind of uh, things, right? Uh, braking, especially when you are approaching the stoplight um and it's about to turn red right it's a little bit abrupt that's what i've noticed right so i thought like it was a one-off kind of thing but i've noticed it a few times even yesterday as well so that is something which was not there in the 12.3 uh, version i know there's another update coming up in a few days so hopefully they will address that but we'll drive the car on a different route today and see if anything uh, else is gonna come up or unexpected thing that we're gonna see but as like uh, you know I've been testing and you can see from these videos as well like it works pretty much fine there are no like issues at all pretty much other than some of the minor things that I mentioned and I'm driving on local roads and we'll try to go to a state highway too uh, if you're here for the first time please consider subscribing your um, you know subscription is like totally free and it really helps the channel grow um, this is a fairly small channel so I try to post regular videos and make updates about FSD and like some other stuff around cameras and like all all like you know those kind of good things so let's see what we're gonna find today and uh, your comments like play a big role in uh, me learning the FSD uh, as well and like you know providing you more scenarios and different use cases based on the feedback so keep it coming guys i really appreciate that and you know uh, it really helps me uh, to you know improve my content as well so so far we have hit a few stop signs and uh, the car did not make any mistakes it's doing just fine uh, by the way on uh, from my fsd uh, settings point of view i am on the aggressive profile and um, you know automatic set speed offset is on speed limit is 25 here we are going at 29 as you can see uh, and 25 now so with the uh, you know the automatic speed offset like the latest you know update which is the 12.5 stack uh, this thing really improved it used to go over like 10 miles above the speed limit before not doing that anymore so for me it's working fine I know uh, some of you commented that it's going a little bit slower or like under the speed limit um, for three four miles under the speed limit but uh, I haven't uh, experienced that yet so what I noticed is like it goes around the speed limit three four miles above sometimes and that's out about it so we are approaching a busy turn as you can see we're gonna be making a left from here but the traffic is coming from both sides it's like a morning time so it's like a little bit of a heavy traffic as you can see so the car is creeping forward slowly and it's moving forward I'm also looking around paying attention and we did so without a mistake so perfectly fine and now we're coming into the right lane I hope uh, we come across a scenario where we are gonna have a stoplight which is turning red during this trip and I'll show you or uh, demonstrate to you guys what I just mentioned at the start of the video like you know the braking is a little bit abrupt like so if if like you know the FSD thinks that the light is not gonna turn red it'll go and that's the that's how it should be right it's not like uh, wasting time or you know thinking too much about it it'll just go but if you know it have to stop and you're really close it is gonna do like a abrupt kind of braking so you gotta be careful and ready and make sure that you know, if there's somebody behind you just put your foot on the pedal uh, or like be ready to take over right uh, just in case so just letting you know that's my observation so no issues at all we made the turn we just turn the air on as well the weather 
weather is changing now. It's a little bit chilly today. So we are gonna go on to like again this kind of road and then uh, we'll hit the highway as well. So So guys also a quick update on the tire rear tire wear issue right so on my model s plaid i haven't seen that yet i'm all, almost touching 7500 miles right now but i did uh, you know mention in the past that I'll, I'll i'll see how long it's gonna last before i have to do any aftermarket parts i do have the shims um you know they're, they're the cheapest way to go like you know you can basically install a shim then it's gonna reduce the negative camber but I haven't installed them yet, right? So I'm keeping a close eye on my tires because a lot of people mention that you start noticing this around like above like 6,000 miles, especially on the rear tires. My thing is I don't drive on the low settings uh, much and also keep an eye on my tire pressure. So, so far, so good. I did not notice much of, a, you know, uneven wear on my rear tires. It's like 21 inch wheels. So, you know, just, uh, you know, I'll keep a little bit uh, of uh, extra care for these uh, tires because they are expensive but I just wanted to give you an update I did make a few videos on the channel about this uh, so when I got the car I already knew about this um, you know uh, learning from some of you guys online uh, Facebook community that like a rear tire wear issue exists on the Model S Plaid especially and Model X too right especially with the bigger wheels like 21 22 inch wheels if you put them uh, the rear toe arm or camber is not adjustable so you end up in extreme negative camber if you're driving on low settings so but as I mentioned I try to drive on medium settings so so far so good but I'll keep you guys posted on that too if you're interested in that uh, please consider subscribing and checking some previous videos out on this topic on this channel okay so so far so good no issues at all so as you can see this is a green light right so if it's yellow and it's about to turn red it, you know that's where like uh, that abrupt braking that I mentioned uh, a few times I've noticed that while using the FSD so this was not there in the 12.3 version it's just on the 12.5 uh, 1.3 version that I'm noticing this on so I thought it was a one-off thing but I it happened a few times so that's why I'm bringing it up so if you're using the FSD on this 12.5.1.3 version just uh, keep an eye out on that and make sure that you're paying attention all the time to ensure that you're ready to take over just in case okay okay so we're gonna be taking the highway for a little bit it's just coming up Also like another thing that still needs to be improved is the pothole detection. There's still no pothole detection. So another you know thing I really want to see in FST in some point at some point because that's really gonna enhance how the service works. But you can see like I haven't like uh, done anything so far. The car pretty much is driving on its own. We're gonna take the ramp onto the highway and everything is perfect so far I'm just gonna put my suspension back into medium setting when it drops to low because as you can see uh, when you hit the highway it will drop down to low so I'm just gonna let it do that and then I'll change it so it's dropping to low and I'm gonna put it back to medium and it's gonna stick to medium now so that's, that's what I've been doing uh, from day one. 
uh, although like if you are really speeding or like if you're on the track you know you you i would recommend drive it on a low setting especially on the drag strip as well but uh, for normal day-to-day -day driving i don't drive low okay so we're not gonna be on the highway for a very long time it's just uh, i think a few miles but uh, you can see I just wanted to give you a full on demonstration. We started from you know local roads to the highway now and I haven't done anything so far. FSD has been working flawlessly. So that I've been using this every day. I I mean I don't recall any of my drives without using FSD especially after they updated to the 12.5 stack it's really really amazing user experience uh, especially you don't have to touch the yoke at all right just pay attention keep your eyes on the road and it's gonna do its thing change the direction a bit because it's going really far out so we don't have to go that far let me just change the directions okay perfect yeah we don't want to be driving too far out when we don't have to right so okay perfect on the highway too it's work working really great as you can see uh, in the past it used to always stay in the far left lane it's not doing that anymore uh, it just made that change now but it was sticking to the middle lane uh, oh, sorry the far left lane before so something that also I think improved in this version and then automatic offset you can increase that too you can see when you're on the highway so it's gonna go a little bit faster and look at this now it's turning and coming back into the middle lane awesome our exit is coming up as well I set the speed to 75 but automatic set speed offset is working amazingly well it is picking up the speed based on the traffic patterns and everything and look at this now it's taking the exit here So we're almost there. I am just gonna grab some coffee from the Dunkin' Donuts here and just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys my drive today. And feel free to provide your feedback in the comment section down below and we'll definitely connect again and we'll take it from there. On that note guys, thanks for watching, stay safe and goodbye.